pride that they have for their country, getting out on court in front of this uh, crowd and here in Christchurch, it's just amazing to see. And somebody's had a bit of a go at Tim Uppersai's hair. More streamlined look. Riley Richardson in the centre. We're away, final. Australia in possession against New Zealand. I have been so impressed by this Australian side. Oh, Kyle Owen starting off strong, couldn't quite regain that ball, but great tip by him. Don't forget, have your say. Sky player of the series, just scan that code. And you don't have to take any notice of what we have been suggesting. Have your vote! <laughs> Tuku happy with that. Strong take for Tao no, no, great start for him. Classy, isn't it? Classy. Expecting to see a lot from this connection between Roberts and Richardson. They actually played for Victoria back home in Melbourne. So they've played together for a few years now. Oh, upper side causing havoc. Well, great pressure there by Atisai and Owen didn't let their outlet ball come in, pushing their players wide. Of course, the crowd, as you would expect, very much behind this New Zealand team. Lee Toru right out of the circle. Oh, beautiful release, Thompson Matuku. Well, Lee Toto was all over that shot, but no problem for him. With some power work in the midcourt. Oh, another, another example of great New Zealand defence forcing the error. Look at this. Had to get rid of it. Yeah, they're just getting in between the Australian and the players, so they're not allowing that really short, easy ball. They're actually lifting the ball, creating that confusion. Big shot here. Oh, from downtown. Well, he started confidently. There's Michael Mundy on at goalkeeper. Look at this shot. Beautiful work there by the attackers. And New Zealand shot out to a 4-1 lead. Wait for this. Searching goalkeeper 2 or one Goalkeeper, you're beside in the turn. Uh, Brody Roberts goes for the two and he doesn't miss. Just the arc on that. It's just pretty to watch. Very fluid in his motion. The Swartz on, goal defence. Style, both, both ends, both, yeah, both ends. ends, yeah, beautiful, beautiful shooting fluid style. motion. So 5 3. Stefan Swartz now, goal defense with Mundy. There's that style again, just flipping it over to Sigorski. One point in at 5-4. Well, when we talk about connections, we look at the Verkai twins. Well, they just got the ball in the three at the moment. A oh, strong rebound. Yeah, no one else was getting that rebound but Lee Totoa. Again, just pushing those Australian attackers wide, not allowing the easy short option. Great defensive pressure here from New Zealand at the moment. Here's the power play. So Leipathy, Virgo to his brother, Eliata. For six. 
No, it didn't quite. Maybe for four. Oh, oh. yes! Great start. Tarefati Virko. So, Australia down by five, nine, four. One minute left on the clock in this first quarter. Oh, look at that jump up his side, but Brody Roberts, no trouble to shoot over that. That is great vision. That's awkward. Oh, no, Burko. Now goal attack. Nine is back on at goal attack for the New Zealand men. He's got a four point shot here. Oh, that is amazing. Well, I've been pretty impressed with the shooting from both teams at the moment. Not afraid to shoot from range. That one from Amosa Faitao Nane. Brings back the five goal, but wait, there's more. Listen to the crowd, totally disagree with the umpire. Right call. You can take a shot. Oh, no good. So we go to the break with New Zealand men with a handy lead over the Australians. 13-8. Bad distraction, centre. I try. Well, that was fortunate for Australia. I don't think Lee Todor was looking. Monday to Grimmett. Here they work. Oh, yes. Beautiful ball through to Swartz. Yeah, great cut there by Swartz. Oh, tricky. Just trying to get a little bit close to the post. Because it can go horribly wrong sometimes, can't it, if you misjudge it? Yeah, sometimes it hits the foot as well, Jenny, and rolls out of court. So you've got to be careful. And you feel a goose. Goes back, sets up again. Oh, gosh. Grimmer having a hard job. Now he's got it in. Fight Tower Nano. And it falls. So 14 8 the lead for New Zealand. Lee. Oh, a great bounce pass across the circle and just rolls to the post. Michael Mundy creating the confusion. We like the defenders for the New Zealand men a little bit in the heads of the shooters of Australia at the moment. Just got that slight foot above them. Nice shot there by Lee. So Fokadia in at centre for Australia. It's four to New Zealand. Go attack, contact, centre third. You have to think, Cruz, these players will know each other pretty well. They've had a lot of contact, I guess, over the last few weeks. Yep, they had the trans Tasman series just last month. Australia coming away with the win for that. So definitely very familiar with each other at the moment. Oh, beautiful shooting, Eugene Lee. Yeah, he's come on confident. So two more there for... Oh, good control, Kyle Owen. Nobody in the circle for New Zealand and the force for Australia. Lee Todor. Oh, nice. Clever from... To me up the side. Oh, I read it. Oh, Virko across the circle. The second intercept for the game. That, I think, is what... You watch this. Look at this. Man, should stay on side as well. One of the finest intercepts I think I've seen in a long time. But, oh, they can't... Oh, they can't control it. But they get it back out of court. New Zealand possession. Whole time. John Hagelby, where you are. So, 
comes to they fatigue Virko. Oh, he does the little nice one. So that makes the most of his brother's splendid efforts at the other end of the court. 16-12. For a little bit of a long perhaps upper side, but lucky to get away with that. Contact, oh, nothing in this. Yeah, Three they're, goals. Not, they're not making it easy, are they? The New Zealand defensive team just really suffocating that Australian attacking. Looks around. Oh, beautifully done. Oh, Matuku. Yeah, great work. Just flick that ball back into court. For such a young player, he's been impressive this whole weekend. Now, Tim Malmo standing down. Great rebound there by Virko. The shortest player in that circle, but definitely makes up for an elevation. Well, they add two more in New Zealand. Look at this. And up he goes and hits it back in court. Australia under a little bit of pressure early in this game. Still the first half. Legs, limbs, everywhere. Everything, yes. No contact goal defense. Yeski back on court. Lovely spin of the ball. Two more Australia. No. What does your team need to do to get this in the bag? I think they just need to calm down a little bit. They're a bit frantic out there and they're overthinking things a little bit. So sort of take breath, get back into the process and deliver what we've spoken about. I just wanted to ask about your attacking in and specifically, it feels like at times I've been pushed a lot wider than I, I guess what you guys are used to. How do you rectify that? I think there's that, look, they're not sort of giving and going at the moment, so I'd like to see them sort of do a bit more of the repeat, repeat efforts and then sort of dish and, and drive for, if, I mean when you're two players short, you sort of sometimes rely on that extra body to fill the space and we're missing that at the moment. Well, there it is, thank you for your time. Hey, 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 thank you. Let's go down now to Dion to Fetu, New Zealand coach. Dion, you must have been pleased with that first half. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, I think we let them back in the door towards the end of that, but uh, yeah, we've just got to stick to our own game. Dion, yeah, I want to ask about your penalties. Only nine for that half. Super low for your team. Is, I guess, the game plan to stay and play and just get that clean, those clean sets, those clean tips? Yeah, you said it, mate. Stay and play. You know you know me well. Um, and that's, that's exactly what we're aiming to do, just to stay out of that penalty zone, um, let the umpire see that we're here to play a, you know, a brand of netball that's not, uh, not too com combative. Well, Dion, we're enjoying your brand very much at the moment. All the best. Thank you. Uh, one goal in at 18-17. Grimup puts it up. Oh, nice take. By Tananai. Don't forget, vote for your player of the series. Scan the code. Good pressure from New Zealand defence. Yeah, Carl Owen creating that confusion, not allowing that clean pass to go up. He's been fantastic this whole weekend. Coming down to help. Look at this. Oh, New Zealand inching their way down the sideline. Well, they've got a shorter shooting circle, but boy, this connection between the two of them. Well, it looked pretty. Couldn't quite pay off in the end. Yeah, will be disappointed he missed that. Very theatrical the way that Fatal no, no, plays. I love, I love what he brings. I love the energy. I love the flair. Oh, 
Roberts on one leg. <laughs> I love his leap. One goal in it. Oh, beautiful ball. He just couldn't bring it in. Yeah, the vision was perfect. Just the placement off the pass a little bit too far. Look at his vision. A little bit too high for his brother. I wonder if they used to practice that at home in Rotorua. Listen to the crowd. The chance coming. Doing all they can, aren't they? This big crowd. Oh, lucky. Mr. Gorski stumbled. Offside, 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 offside. This is Goldberg. Your ball, Goldberg. So Richardson just trying to find out exactly where this free pass has to go. Look, no one's moving for this Australian attacking end. Very static at the moment. Here we go, 19 all. Boy, I don't envy these shooters having to shoot over Timmy up the side. That would be one scary thing to shoot over him. We are 30 seconds away from the power play. Great oh. take. One-handed take. Oh. Look at that. Quarter, points by quarter, 13-8. 7-5. And now 4-1 in the third. Oh, Fatal Naima. Uh, intercept on the transverse line. Managed to keep his balance as well to stay on side. So here we go. Power play is on. Before. He's steadying himself. Big breath. Able just to waltz it, pick up the two. Look at this intercept. One hand take, stays on side. Time comes out as well. So Richardson gets himself back on court. Riley Robertson shooting display. That's short. Look at the crowd. Yes, the crowd is bringing the energy, getting behind it. It's a pressure there by Apisai. For a six. Oh, not this time. Wow, what an outlet pass there by Lee Todor. Not mucking around the Australians, they know there's no time to waste. Again, playing very wide as Burton needs to get in there. <laughs> oh, if anything, this game is a definitely performance. Look at this. Two more points in Australia. The Hooter goes for the end of the quarter. South Africa. So plenty to stick around and watch for. There's the people in the gin bar. I think they're having quite a nice time of it, but boy, out on court. Here we go, 21 all. New Zealand possession, it's all on the next six minutes. Good regather. Lovely flick over. It's a goalkeeper. Vital Nanai. He's been so strong this whole game. Boy, he's been under so much pressure, but the takes that he's getting, his defensive pressure, managing to finish a shot as well. Look at that. Oh, yes! Yes! Out of nowhere, Kyle Owen flying through the air. Look at this. Came from out of nowhere, flicks it back to Timmy up his side. Yeah, they just set up. Oh, he's going to get rid of it. Great defense, Australia. 
had no one to pass to. Roberts now outside. Pukadea, lovely little loopy pass over to Sigorski. Back to 22 all. Oh, great work there by Pukadea. All the Australian, uh, sorry, the New Zealand men attacking players running wide. No one cutting that short pass. Yep, and he really had no choice, did he, Grimmer? It was a poor pass, but it wasn't necessarily his fault. No, it was his only option, to be fair. Oh, mistakes all over the show. What a split there by Roberts. Gained about a metre in that. Oh, up his side. How strong well, is he? Not often that Brody Roberts misses. Thompson, not too cool. Australian team had contact. Go back with the centre, yes. Oh, this game it has everything. Drama. Australian, Australian centre, the three. Yes, oh, brilliant. That's the class yep. of Taylor Glassy. Yeah, also the experience as well. He knows when to stand up in important moments. So we're back to Robert under the hoop, and it's Australia in front. You see, Nera the Stewart. Oh, lead total with that outside arm. That might be the important intercept for Australia. Look at this outside arm. Just the athleticism from all the athletes out on court this afternoon. Confidence of Robert's sister nonchalantly bounce it back. Listen to the crowd telling the umpire what to do. I think there are about 4,000 umpires here. So, time now for New Zealand to really get going. They trail by two. This coming next, Uganda, Jamaica. Beautiful yeah. shot, beautiful shot from Matsuku. Where's he going to go? Out. Oh, oh! Oh! Wow, lucky there for Australia. Oh, tons of room for Robert just to rotate round. And pick up that ball now, not far away from the power play. 20 seconds, in fact. Just need to stay composed, stay calm. Beautiful pass there. The connection between the two of them has been outstanding. Oh, I couldn't quite finish it. Oh, we're in the regime power play. The last 90 seconds of this final. He doesn't want to shoot it from there. He twists, he turns. Schwartz oh. coming through. Now, as Robin Broughton would say, they need to keep their heads. Look at this from Schwartz. Big shot. as long as they keep going in that direction. Yep, just need to look after the ball. Pass and cut. You've got to be careful. You've got to go forward. Can they do it? Last 10. Oh, what a pass! And the finish from Matsuku. That's got it. Absolute 
scenes here at the Christchurch Arena. You guys won, you won the final, how does it feel? Oh, I'm quite speechless at the moment. Um, it hasn't really sunk in yet, still, the lungs are still feeling it, but just super proud of the boys' effort today. In front of our home crowd, um, to end an historic year of men's netball was just amazing to cap it off like that. Yes, well, I want to talk about this home crowd. They really brought the energy in the fourth quarter. How, how great did it feel to play in front of them? Oh, it, it's, like, it's like another sixth player on court um, and, and an 11th player on our team. So super grateful. I'm a proud Cantabrian myself. So to be, in, to be able to play in front of the home crowd, yeah, super grateful. And um, also, what does it mean for, for men's netball here in New Zealand to get this win going forward into next year? Yeah, it's just a platform for us to really show like what we're capable of and, and the fives the five side gives us that freedom and luxury to go long, to shoot from out wide, um, to play with flair and that's what we're known for. So um, although we're super grateful to be um, integrated into these switches with the women, um, our time's come and yeah, just, just super happy that we're able to put out a good product. Awesome, thank you so much and congratulations again. Okay, thank you. Well, that is a delighted Amosa Faitoa Namai MVP in an epic win for the New Zealand men. Now, not far away, it's Uganda versus Jamaica. Up next, playing for fifth and sixth place. To come forward and talk to Jody for a little bit of a Q&A, but let's give the men's side a round of applause. Well done, Nick. You came in as, as the underdogs today. How did you pull that one off? Uh, just hard work, that's, that's pretty much it. And to be fair, the crowd was the best part, so that was epic, so yeah, that's, that's what got us through. It's been a huge month showcasing men's netball, both here and in Australia. What, what do you hope happens now for men's netball? We just continue, you know, um, we enjoy playing it, and I know you guys enjoy watching it, so yeah, let's just get behind it, because it's fun, it's exciting, and this is, this is the future, absolutely. Well, congratulations on the win, well done. Yeah, thank you very much, thank you, thank you. I now invite Liz Nickel to please present Nick with the trophy for the men's side. Thank you, Nick, and thank you to all the men's teams that... 